It sometimes said that the declaration was a purely British affair, but that would fly in the face of the evidence. Despite their history of anti-Semitism, the French had already given their written approval for a Jewish home in Palestine, as had the Italians, the Americans, the Japanese, and even the Pope was favorably disposed. So it wasn't simply Britain and Balfour. But it was not a legal document in any way. It was not a treaty, had no international law. It was simply an expression of support. The government looking with favor on a Jewish homeland sent in a, in a letter to Lord Rothschild, and it could have easily got lost at any time. It was only in 1920 at San Remo, and two years later in Geneva, when the League of Nations gave the mandate for Palestine to Britain, and furthermore, mandated it to provide the Jewish home there. All 51 nations of the League voted for it, with none against. The League of Nations spoke of a Jewish nation for the first time, and of reconstituting it in Palestine. Balfour had only spoken of establishing it, yet here it wrote of reconstituting it in its ancient rights. It was this basis in international law that gave legitimacy to the Zionist claim to a Palestinian home, and it was this agreement that was accepted in full by the UN in 1947. 